So I'm gonna show you how you can actually sort of combine image prompts to create some really cool effects in mid-journey. So today I'm gonna to type in imagine and I'm gonna come up with an abstract effect that I wanna work with, something like cyberpunk, dripping ink, neon colors, abstract design. I'm just gonna punch that in and see what I get. And check out some of these cool results. Now this one actually has a person in it, but I don't really want too much in there to begin with. I'm gonna find something like, I think either two or three look the best. I'm gonna go with three. I'm gonna upscale that image. So now we have this image rendered. I click on it and where it says open in browser, I'm gonna right click to copy the link address. If you're using say the app on your phone, there is a share option there. You can copy the link that way. But I'm gonna go back in and type in slash imagine and paste that image in there because I wanna keep that effect. And then I'm gonna add a subject pop in there. It could be something simple. It could be something like a uh, cat wearing sunglasses. Now, I haven't mentioned anything about neon or ink. I've just popped in cat wearing sunglasses after my image address and I hit enter. Now check out how it's replicated the style. Number two, I think looks pretty good. Number one also, I can upscale these and then I've got some really cool results that match the original abstract style I was able to develop and matches up pretty closely. Color, even the background is somewhat similar. And all I've done is tell it to create a cat wearing sunglasses. And so this is what we've ended up with, which is pretty cool. A pretty cool effect. The ink is dripping over the cat and everything. Very cool. Mid Journey does a great job combining these. And you can see just how cool that effect is and how consistent it is with the original effect that we used. What if I try, try something different? I type in slap, slash imagine and I say a man with a mustache. Hit enter. This also works if you're uploading your own photos, but for now we're just gonna stick with, with mid-journey um, and there is another video I'll link to at the end. We'll show you how to upload your own photos. So now I'm gonna pick one of these guys. I'm gonna say number two. He looks sort of very old fashioned. I'm gonna upscale number two because that's the man I wanna use in my prompt. So now I've got the man in the prompt I wish to use. I'm gonna click on this image, right click, copy link address, go down to slash imagine and paste that in there. I'm gonna space, but I'm gonna go back up to my original ink design, click on that and copy that link address also. And I'm going to put a space in and paste it in place. Before I go any further, I'm just gonna copy this for my own reference because I'm gonna try something else as well. But I've basically got two image addresses. There's one here and one here. All I need to do is hit enter and it's gonna work on something for me. But if I type in imagine again, but this time I'm gonna add something in there like lightning storm and just see what it adds to those two images as well. So here are our results for the first one, combining the two images, no extra prompts. We got some pretty interesting effects here. It's copied the man, it's copied the effect, and it's kind of tried to maintain that face, which I think is pretty cool. So uh, I will upscale, upscale one of these and we can have a look at it. Now the second one, we've added the word lightning and it's done something a bit more unique. The face isn't as present, the lightning is really taken over, but the same color and general effect is kind of there, but morphed into more of a lightning effect. So uh, we've got some pretty cool results with that one. So again, I'll upscale two and three and check those out. So check this out. We've managed to get that ink effect, got the guy in there, his hair is kind of turning into ink and combining those two images has been pretty cool. Adding lightning, however, has done a little something a little different. We've still got the guy's face in there. He's sort of in a cloud and a very unexpected result, but still very cool when you start to add in extra words to twist those images into something else, which I think is also very cool. And of course, the other photo. So you can sort of get some pretty interesting results just by playing with combining image prompts, the actual images with each other, and then adding in some words. It's a, I think it could be a pretty fun tool to play with. So I recommend checking that out. Have a play with it, get some fun results out of it, and I uh, hope to see you again next time. Have a great day.